So we're gonna go ahead and start with about a half a cup of olive oil. Then we're gonna go ahead and add about a, a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna add a half of a teaspoon of onion powder. Then we're gonna add a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. And last but not least, of course, we'll add two teaspoons of paprika. Regular or Spanish, your choice, but this is just regular paprika. After that's done, go ahead and uh, mix it all around together. Mix it really good, and this is what it'll look like. Once that is finished, go ahead and uh, get ready and spread it all over your chicken. And then after that, just let it sit for like 30 minutes. Let the flavors come together. Go ahead and skewer it through on your rotisserie. Now you can see those legs and those wings are gonna be flopping all over the place. So you just gotta do an ugly tie on it. You know, tie the legs together and then of course, uh, tie the body around where those uh, wings are at. It'll hold everything tighter together. I know it looks ugly, but it'll, it keeps that chicken compact. Also helps it cook better as well. And you wanna do it towards the back as well. Just tie everything together and turn that puppy on. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cook this for about an hour and a half. It really just depends on the size of the chicken, but this is about a five pound bird. Uh, my rotisserie does it in about an hour and a half here. And this is what it looks like. Once it's cooked, go ahead and take it off. Now what I like to do, because the bottom of a chicken is, if you notice, the rotisserie chicken is always got the most juice. So I always like to rest it upside down. Rest it upside down for about 20 minutes. Once that's done, turn it over, start cutting and eat away. Hope this helps. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and you have a wonderful day. Bye.